perpendicular bisector does exactly what its name suggests. If we have a line segment AB, then the perpendicular bisector of AB is the line which is perpendicular, which bisects AB. That means it cuts it exactly in half. So if we take a perpendicular line, it becomes a perpendicular bisector if and only if it passes through the midpoint of A and B. So when we're asked to find the equation of a perpendicular bisector, we are going to have to find the perpendicular gradient and the midpoint. So 1.3 is perpendicular bisectors. Perpendicular bisectors. And as you become comfortable with what those two words mean, you will realise that the name for these lines actually tells you what to do. It tells you to find the perpendicular gradient and it tells you to bisect, which means find the midpoint. So we will say, to find the equation of a perpendicular bisector, to find the equation of a perpendicular bisector, we must use the midpoint and the perpendicular gradient. So thinking back to medians, when you find the equation of a median, you have to use the midpoint. When you find the equation of an altitude, you have to find the perpendicular gradient. When you're doing a perpendicular bisector, you have to do both. So both of those subskills are used here. Right, let's do example 1.3a. So we'll say line segment AB joins A, which is the point 1, 3, to the point B, which is 5, negative 7. Now, perpendicular bisectors don't have to be in a triangle, which is why we're just talking about a line segment. We're just talking about a line which joins A to B. And we're going to find the perpendicular bisector. So the question will be, find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB. Okay, so we're finding the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB. Let's do our solution. First things first, this question is asking us to find the equation of a straight line. What do I need to find the equation of a straight line? I need a point. I need to find the gradient. And then I can find the equation. Let's take those three headings. Right, so the type of line we're finding is a perpendicular bisector. That means we're doing the perpendicular gradient and we're bisecting, which means we're finding the midpoint. So let's do it in order. Perpendicular gradient first. We've been given the two points, A and B. The gradient between A and B, small m for gradient, is going to be negative 7 subtract 3 over 5 subtract 1. 
negative 7 subtract 3 is negative 10. 5 subtract 1 is 4. A negative over a positive means the whole thing will be negative. These will both divide by 2. So I will get negative 5 halves. Now that's the gradient which joins A and B. I want the perpendicular gradient. So therefore, the perpendicular gradient will be the negative reciprocal of this. Well, if it's already negative, it becomes positive. Flip this upside down. The gradient I want is two fifths. So, so far, we've got two marks. One, two. Well, the point, let's go back to perpendicular. I've done that. Bisector means I have to find the midpoint. A is the point one, three. B is the point five, negative seven. Remember, capital M for midpoint, subscript AB. Find the average of our x's. 1 add 5 is 6, half it is 3. 3 add negative 7 is negative 4, half it is negative 2. So now that I have my point and I have my gradient, I can find the equation. y minus b equals m brackets x take away a. y subtract negative 2 is y add 2 equals 2 fifths x subtract 3. Don't want to multiply through by a fraction so I'll multiply the 5 up. 5 times y add 2 leaves the 2 multiplying the x minus 3. Multiply those brackets out, I will get 5y add 10 equals 2x subtract 6, giving me a final answer of 5y subtract 2x equals negative 6, take away 10 is negative 16. So 5y subtract 2x equals negative 16 is the equation of the perpendicular bisector.